Okay, so this is literally tonight's project. I'm going to literally clean this whole bathroom, organize all of this mess, do some vacuuming, fill up some of these baskets, and then see how many more baskets or storage that I need. All right, so there has been quite a bit that I've wanted to really do with this bathroom since we moved. So I finally went to Kmart after work today, got some baskets and I'm gonna like rearrange all of this, fill up these. And that's just like stuff that we've bought that we haven't put away yet. So I've just cleared everything out of there. Just put it all on the floor. There's several things here that can go in the front room with all the beauty and toiletry stuff. I've only got three baskets. I forgot actually how much I actually had. So probably most likely you're going to need to get more of them. So I think I might just like show some products along the way. Not everything. I'll just pick like a few to share uh, while we're kind of doing this organization thing. Something satisfying about a Macca's Coke. So I'll be sipping away while I'm working away. Alrighty, let's start. Honestly, like I really don't mind like cleaning and organizing. Everyone always says like I'm like the organized friend, but... I just like really enjoy it. All right, so I've just wiped the inside and I'm most likely gonna have like, my stuff is normally on the left side and then Shane's is on the right. And then um, this one, I'm probably gonna have like this way down here, but um, we'll start filling them. So while I'm in here, I'm also gonna go through like the cases and stuff to make sure, you know, nothing needs to be taken out. So this is normally Shane's travel bag. So I'll keep the travel samples in there, but I'll see what's in this side uh, okay so obviously he's got two colognes in here that he can just put with his perfume on top of his chest of drawers so i'll move those this hand wash we don't really like uh, we actually got this in like a house pack when we moved um but also this thank you brand apparently like it says all oh, see like 100 percent of the profits helps poverty and apparently only like literally like 20 cents or something crap like that actually goes to the charities so don't really want to be involved in something that's full of shit so, so far from what I've picked up, Shane's has just started over here. So I've just put the more um, essentials that he tends to use daily and weekly. And then the middle one, as I said, is just like spare things. So we've got spare deodorants for him, my spare deodorant, spare mouthwash, toothpaste, some dry shampoos that are spare and toothbrushes. And we'll just keep going. I haven't added a thing to mine yet. I'm definitely going to need to get another one or two of these for spare stuff. Um, we always like to have backups because the worst thing is like when you run out and you literally have to go down to the shops to get something and you can't just pick up a backup that really annoys us so we would really like to be organized in that sense as i kind of do this even though it's like a genre of toiletries i kind of feel like i should get one that's like for our deodorants one that's like skincare and one's like shower products and maybe one for hair care i don't know if that's like too much just gonna see how i go today and then um yeah just pretty much go from there so i just found another product i'd like to share so this is the palm olive foaming hand soap it's vanilla and wild berries I've had these ones before. They're really affordable from Chemist Warehouse. I think they're around like the $2 mark. But even when it looks empty, you get a fair few pumps out of it still. And they're just affordable and really nice scented soaps. They frame up really nicely and just another good little soap to have in the bathroom. So definitely going to need to get some more baskets. Um, I'm not making them too tight. So I'm going to have to have some products like on their own on the outer side. So I'm going to stick to more like maybe the bigger ones. Shane's basket, uh, there's definitely not as much as what mine is, of course. Um, I don't mind having the spare stuff like all together because you can kind of dig your way through. you kind of going to need spare things like on different occasions, not at once. So I don't really mind diving through and finding what we need, but definitely um, going to need some more storage for sure. So this is pretty much Shane's basket. He just has like hairspray, three different wax uh, products, his like little beard trimmer thing case with like some more of like the pieces for that and some like nail clippers in there mine is definitely more chocker block but i just kind of tried to stick to what i use daily so i've been using this body cream mostly at the moment i've been using these two dry shampoos um just like a little like facial hair removal thing like for my lip um then i've got like some eye cream some coconut lip balm and my moisturizer they're the more ones uh, in regards to skincare that I use, my um, other two I keep in the shower, so that doesn't matter. I've got my two deodorants and a third one, which this is a spray one. These are two roll ons and my mouthwash. And then I've just got my um, coconut hair product treatment spray that I use after my showers and my Johnson's makeup wipes. So I just added my two, like my comb and my hairbrush, and then I've just put some products I'm using 
daily and weekly here. So I have my Bondi Sands Body Moisturizer. So that's because I tend to tan daily. So I like that moisturizer. It's also a prolonging product for those who tan as well. I've got my activated charcoal for my teeth. And then this is just like a night concentrate by Neutrogena. It's also oil free for those who uh, can't have oil on their skin. So there's just some more products. In the middle here, I've just kind of started to put things that Shane and I both share. So obviously like toilet spray, I've got some earbuds, still adding some more stuff. Um, I'm gonna put a lot of stuff in the front room that we've just been kind of lazy and haven't put back up there. And then I just kind of finished the basket of spare products. So I put some shampoo, conditioner, some bars of soap that he uses, the hand soap I showed before, deodorants, some more shaving foam. Honestly, girls, if you shave at home or you don't have time to wax or whatever, Seriously, these with the Gillette shavers are the freaking best. So I've just popped Shane's soap dispenser over there and then mine on this side. They were actually from Maya and we got it with like a gift card. We wanted to have our own soaps. Plus, for those who don't know, Shane can only have fragrance free stuff. And I really like scented things. So there's something I want to get around to setting up. In isolation, I was like going to put this gray color through my blonde. Uh, just for something to do at home but i never really got around to doing it and kind of forgot about it too but i'm going to keep them because i'm pretty sure somewhere down the track i'm going to want to do that um so with this makeup case i haven't been using these products at the moment apart from those revolution sticks but i've already got a spare one in my current daily makeup case and this has like smashed some of my powder so i need to really wash that so i'm going to put that aside this is the little black dress scented soap from glass house you can get it from peter alexander or david jones um, just for those who like your scented products, Glass House also does those really beautiful candles like you probably heard of the vanilla caramel one. Um, this is the exact same brand and just really beautiful products that they uh, share in their range. So, yeah, I'm getting there, guys. So underneath my like daily stuff, I just had two scrunchies because I like to have just two scrunchies in sight. The rest are up in the beauty room. Um, but then down here, I've got like my tanning stuff. I put um, down the back here, I put like the hair color and some extra makeup wipes there and then three products that i'm currently like using so i've got my blonde hair toner i've got this product that i recently got um it's in a chemist warehouse video if you want to see it and that is just a new product i've been trying for my hair it leaves your hair really lovely and soft and helps with split ends and then i've been using my morphe setting spray for my makeup so i decided on this side i'm gonna have like toiletry bag stuff so i've just got like some you know pads like for period things in here's also got more period essentials that shane's little toiletry bag there so that's all neat in there i've added some like mouthwash up there and then just in front of me here is all going to go up to the beauty room that's just products that i've been tossing up with in the recent weeks that um don't necessarily need to be in the bathroom sink right now and this doesn't need to be sorted out because I'm kind of really using all of this stuff at the moment. And this is just my current makeup case that I've been using. And literally everything in here I've been really wearing. So I don't really need to go through this again and sort it all out. And that just stays in this case. And that can just go there along with the other cases. And that will all blend in together. These two palettes I'm going to pop back up in the beauty room. So I love them, but I've just currently bought a couple of new ones that I've been playing with at the moment. So I guess when I have my beauty room, I'll be able to alternate things a lot more often. Then the last things I really need to put away is my hair straightener, which it didn't come with a case. So I just keep it in the box, which is completely fine and neat. That should fit perfectly in front of the basket because we're not going to need to access that every single day. So that's fine to pull out. And then I'm just going to wrap up the hair dryer and pop that in there as well. I'm just going to keep that in the back corner on the top shelf there. But pretty much like this is it all sorted. So there's not like literally stuff all scattered everywhere getting knocked over. So it's a lot neater, but I definitely like to get maybe like a few more baskets just for like some skincare for some extra products like these that we use weekly and daily, but can be in their own section. These are literally the things that we use literally every day. So happy with that also just speaking of the hair dryer and the straightener they are the halo brand uh, shane actually got them for me from hair house warehouse they definitely are a pricier um hair item to buy but definitely worth it they work really really well and yeah if you're someone who's really into your hair and you're like me and you have thick curly hair naturally um that hair dryer like 
literally dries your hair not in this 30 40 minute crap period <laughs> it's literally like within 15 minutes your hair will be nice and dry so i'm going to carry all these up to the beauty room and pop them all the way in their spot honestly with me like i think definitely when my beauty room's all set up and i've got everything in its own place i'll be able to alternate stuff more i won't be like you know hoarding and storing it all in one place like the bathroom where i really just want my everyday things in reach so when i have like everything organized up there i'll definitely be able to like you know go in choose this and choose that and like put it back in its place straight away not go from one room to the other weekly now i've almost finished my body wash which is my favorite body wash but this one's by arborn it's really good i've got a review on this on my youtube like page guys if you would like to have a look at this it's a really beautiful thick formula um i use this one but it's almost run out so these are the multi-purpose wipes. They're just the Coles brand that I'm going to be just using to clear the sink and the toilet. Literally, I'm telling you like every like three, four days, you're gonna need to like wipe down your bathroom. I hate when there is like hair, dust and crap like that everywhere in the bathroom. It just really puts me off. So definitely every three, four days, you wanna wipe down your bathroom and keep on top of it. I have also been using these products. This one I'm going to prop in the beauty room because I've been using my Bondi Sands one at the moment. Um, but I'll put them under the sink because I've actually been using all of them lately too. Uh, this is an e.l.f. Uh, makeup primer. It's really nice paired up with, if you saw quickly in the makeup case I showed below, they had the Aqua Primer Mist as well. Those two together make your foundation look really beautiful and literally stays in place all day. Just while I'm showing products, um, if you don't have me on Instagram or you haven't seen, these literally are Chi Chi palettes. Maya had a sale. And I also have the Sports Girl palette in here, which is the Coral Eclipse. Really beautiful pigments. These are just hair ties and bobby pins. I'm just going to put them under here and just keep them in front of these things because I do use them daily as well. I have been like into wearing my rings lately. I've got like a couple on today. Um, so I'm actually going to kind of just keep them in the corner here because I still am using and tossing up between them daily. Again, when my whole beauty room is set up, I'll definitely like just be able to go up there and access everything a lot easier and not leave things like lying around in the bathroom. But these aren't going to take up too much room. And as I said, I'm currently using them. So just going to do that. Um, I've been like tossing up between these two false lashes and the ones that I'm wearing at the moment. And I'm just going to keep them under the sink as well because I literally have been switching up with them. I know this is kind of gross, but I've just been using the glue on there with like an earbud each day just to like apply my lashes with because it's like a little quick and easy canvas to use. All right, now that everything is clear, I'm going to go around and just wipe it all down. So the first thing I've done is I've just cleaned the toothbrush holder. I think it's really important to do this just as a hygiene thing such as obviously cleaning down the bathroom as you can see like bits of hair where Shane shaves kind of goes everywhere there's a lot of dust it's white it's going to get dusty um and yeah you don't want this to go like moldy or gross at the bottom there with all the water and toothpaste running down to the bottom so definitely make sure you're cleaning these at least weekly a little tip to help and prevent getting that disgusting like crap at the bottom of your toothbrush holders is just after you brush your teeth, get a towel, hand towel, toilet paper, tissue, whatever, dry down your toothbrush and then put it back in. That way there's no excess water or toothpaste running down and sitting in the bottom. By the way, like these wipes that I use from Coles are lemon scented. So they smell really nice, give really nice fresh smell. But I do suggest having a little rag or towel that you use just specifically for cleaning purposes and that way it just takes the moisture off and leaves a really clean finish. So as you can see, it's pretty shiny and starting to come really clean. Now, again, another little thing, if you can be bothered, because I know the bathroom is something we're always in daily, you can actually just dry out the sink with a towel or rag and that way you're not getting anything that it like can stick to when it's damp. So um, not everyone can be bothered. I mean, I really don't do that myself. I literally just clean it every few days but that really does help to prevent the dust and like stuff hair whatever from sticking to the sink or to the benches once i get like my beauty room i'll be able to just brush my teeth in here and go up there and get ready so it doesn't really matter if i've got like my rings up there because i will be in like its own storage spaces 
and my makeup will be in its own drawers so it's gonna be a lot better for me to manage in that sense okay so i've just finished doing the bench that is all clean i decided to just leave the diffuser on that side keep the soap in the normal spot and just move the toothbrushes over to this space over there so something a little bit different but i like it in the corner there so that'll be fine just finished wiping the toilet down so now i'm just going to get the towels and the bath mat put them in the wash i'll get some fresh ones come back and we'll finish off so i've just changed the towels and the bath mat if you liked the gray ones from before they're by vera wang got them from harris scar and i'll show you the ones that we've just swapped to now okay so uh this i don't know where it's from that was given to us so i really don't know i don't even think it says on the thing no sorry sorry uh but these two were from adairs and they're the home republic ones when i go for my towels i like to get two different ones so shane knows what ones his is and what one mine is otherwise we just have them if they're exactly the same on opposite sides so he knows whose is whose next thing i'm going to do is just wipe the mirror here just using the Coles Ultra glass and window cleaner here. Things before we finish off today's video. So I'm just going to get the vacuum, vacuum the floor, do some room spray. So the floor is done. I don't really need to mop it at the moment. It was more just a vacuum. Now I'm going to use the black and gold room spray from Dusk. Kind of smells like a men's cologne. It is a bit stronger, but really lingers around for a bit. So it's really good to spray in the house and in rooms. So I'm just going to spray some of this. Do, 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 do. And that is that. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked the video. Definitely would love to do some more storage videos at some point. And that is my bathroom. Nice and clean. Starting to get organized. So that's a positive note. <laughs>